हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन इवेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मोरूना एंड द नेक्स्ट फेज इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लैस्टूना एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन दिस दिमरी एंड दिस वन इज दूटेस inner wall of uterus as we have already discussed formation of morula morula on third day on third day the morula enters into the uterus morula is a solid ball like structure just like this one on third day morula enters into the uterus then the compaction can take place it means the morula lost corona radiata it contains only zona जोना एंड एंड इट 62, 32 से। देन दिस कम्स क्लोजर टू द द इनर ऑफ़ यूटेरस दैट इज कॉल्ड एंडोमेटिकल। व्हाट वुड हैपन? वी नो दैट एज द मोरूला एज सोरी This is the endometrium. Endometrium secretes some nutritive substances. These nutritive substances are secreted through endometrium, which is the result to pass the morula closer to the endometrium. It means, suppose this is the inner depression of endometrium. इनर डिप्रेशन ऑफ एंड द मोरूला कम्स क्लोजर इज द आउटर वॉल विच इज कार्ड जोना एंडोसिडा एंड आउटर सर्फेस देर आर समॉल फ्लैट सेल्स आर गैदर these small spread cells are called micromia the surface which contain the zona pellucida small cell these small cells are called micromia and the largest cell present inside it or we can say that inside the micromia cells and these cells are called macromias these are the macromias as the nutritive substances are secreted by the endometrium these are chemical substances like as enzymes these chemical substances nutritive substances as enters into the morula compaction again take place break down more. or we can say that morula loss zona pellucida it contains zona pellucida this is the outermost layer zona pellucida but as the nutritive substances enters into the morula it forms a cavity and loss of zona pellucida suppose this is the inner depression of endometrium in this the zona pellucida is lost by the morula and it contains smaller outer cells and inner most largest 
largest cell and no medium after this one as the nutritive substance start to pass out through the morula then a cavity is produced a cavity is produced that is called a blasto see first of all the size of morula increase we can say what first feature is the size of morula increase or we can say fertilized egg cell size increase second one due to the entry of nutritive substances a cavity is produced and that cavity is called blastocy a cavity is produced by the entry of nutritive substances third zona pellucida is lost zona pellucida is also lost first corona reticula lost in the fallopian tube as the morula enters from the fallopian tube to the uterus corona reticula lost as this come closer to the endometrium zona pellucida is also lost the small cell which cover the outer most layer those small cell called micromeres these small cell now known as trophoblast trophoblast cells because on losing or losing of zona pellucida <clears throat> the small cell take the outer most layers part that is called trophoblast cell we this is a these are also called trophoblast
दिस इज कॉल्ड एप एम्ब्रियोनिक एंड और देर आर टू पोल्स आर द सेल द पोल विच इन विच इनर सेल मास आर गैदर वन साइड दैट इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियोनिक पोल एंड ऑपोजिट एंड इज कॉल्ड एप एम्ब्रियोनिक पोल दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियोनिक नो एम्ब्रियोनिक no why it is called embryonic no we will listen again this is the inner endometrial wall and this is the trophoblast or trophoectoderm layer trophoblast or trophoectoderm layer cell size in this trophoectoderm or trophoblast cell again the cell which gather at one side suppose this is the these are the cells which gather at one side these are called inner cell walls cavity is called blastocoel This end is called embryonic knob or embryonic pore because this side attached with the endometrium. This is called embryonic knob. The cell which the trophoblast cell which attached to the inner cell mass means from here to so we can say from here to this one. these cells are attached to the inner cell walls these are called rubber cells rubber cells what do you mean by rubber cells the trophoblast cell trophoectoderm sorry or trophoblast the trophoblast cell which attaches only with the inner cell walls not these are these are not attached to attach the inner cell walls only these cells are attached these are the trophoblast cell and these are the inner cell walls these are called rubber cells these cells are responsible formation of corneal villi finger like projections just like as formation as it as a placenta what do you mean by rubber cells the trophoblast cells which remain contact which remain in contact with the inner cell mass inner cell mass or we can say that what the embryonic pore these cells are called rubber cells these cells are also responsible for formation of the placenta or we can say the cori ionic villi this is the second phase which is known as formation of blastula or formation of blastocoel this structure is called which contain trophoblast cell inner cell mass blastocoel this is called blastula as well as blastocoel after formation of blastocoel these cell attach to the endometrium and this attachment is called implantation after the formation of blastula implantation process can take place third phase implantation clear yeah. next one is implantation now till now we have discussed about cleavage during cleavage division can take place division formation of morula and formation of blastula after formation of blastula these cells attach with the inner endometrium inner wall of uterus that is called implantation attachment of <coughs> blastula 
or we can say blastocyst with inner wall of endometrium inner wall of the uterus or that is called endometrium the inner wall is called endometrium this in attachment of blastula with inner wall of uterus is called implantation how the implantation process can take place and what are the mechanism during the implantation can take place first of all mechanism during implant local stroma edema is produced or we can say edema what do we mean by edema the inner membrane of uterus becomes very soft due to the secretion of some lactic enzyme it becomes soft and this soft process is known as a local stroma edema the first mechanism is formation of local stroma edema in endometrium endometrium again sir what do you mean by edema endometrium becomes very soft formation of this soft of endometrium this is called edema local stroma why this is called local stroma because it occurs only at the embryonic node only from this one if this side is attached in the inner wall of uterus only this side the side which through the trophoblast or we can say that rubber cells attached with the endometrium this is only take place here so it is called local stroma what is edema to becomes very soft so that this blastula attach with the inner wall of the endometrium local stroma it means only rubber cells attached or in an attachment site proper cell attachment site is known as local stroma edema this becomes soft that is called local stroma edema is in this process in this mechanism this is called dcr dcr decidual cell reaction decidual cell reaction again what do you mean by implant attachment of blastula with the inner wall of uterus that is called implant during the implantation the first mechanism can take place formation of local stroma edema why it is called local stroma only the special site which attaches to the endometrium and that side is embryonic no proper cells these cells can take place here so it is called local stroma and what do you mean by edema endometrium in this layer only in this region becomes very soft not all place in this region becomes very soft so it is called local stroma edema during this formation that is called dcr decidual cell reaction the again process can take place is we'll draw the diagram firstly suppose this is the inner wall of endometrium and this one is the blastula at the outer surface is it contains flat small cell and the la 
larger cell which are present at one side these are called inner cell mass and this one is called blastocene in a sense it is a site from where the endometrium becomes soft so it is called local stroma edema this is the first features first mechanism occur during the implantation the second features is permeability in blood vessels as well as inner wall of uterus second one is permeability in blood vessels or wall of uterus this is the first and second mechanism this is the inner wall which is called endometrium just inside the endometrium there are blood vessels the chemical substances secreted through it pass out from outside to inside and inside to outside these are the blood vessels and there are some fibroblast may present here fibroblast second is permeability in blood vessels third feature is the fibroblast which gain glycogen and they increase its size it is only fibroblast cell it increase its size due to the gain of glycogen third means size of fibroblast cell increases why due to the gain of or gain of glycogen this is the third feature fourth feature is disruption and dis disruption of endometrium it means the endometrium breaks down from here this is the fourth feature disruption of endometrium and fifth last changes can take place here the rubber cells these are the cells these cells forms forms finger like projections in deeper and deeper because this glycogen act as a nutritive substance these cells formation a finger like projection called microvilli or we can say that polyionic villi glycogen is a nutritive substance as the nutritive substance is secretion this blastula come closer to the endometrium then the rubber cells formation of can uh, formation of microvilli is finger like projections and these finger like projections are called <coughs> polyionic villi these polyionic villi goes deeper and deeper so that they can gain nutritive substance and provide this the developing zygote fifth one is formation of finger like projections which are called polyionic villi these polyionic villi act as a placenta which provide nutrition from mother body to the developing end 
वन मोर थिंग इज इन ह्यूमन बींग एंड एस इन प्लांटेशन देर आर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ इन प्लांटेशन बट इन ह्यूमन बींग एंड एस इन प्लांटेशन टाइप इज इंटरस्टेशन टाइप वन मोर मैकेजम इज इन ह्यूमन बींग or x the implantation type or implantation is interstitial type what do you mean by interstitial as the inner membrane of endometrial crystal this membrane covering the blastoma just Forming around the blastoma, this one like the site from we have written as disruption of endometrium. The site from the endometrium disrupt this cover the blastula and this blastula again attach with the endometrium which is called implantation. These are the mechanism occur during the implantation. Implantation first of all formation of local stroma edema. Local stroma, the rubber cells which attach to the endometrium. This side is called local stroma. What is edema? It means the inner membrane becomes very soft. This is the first feature. Second one is the blood vessels which are present in the in, uh, in the wall of uterus. they provide permeability as well as the wall of the uterus as well as blood vessels third one the fibroblast cells size increase due to the gain of glycogen glycogen is a lactic enzyme which act as a nutritive substance lactic enzyme which act as a nutritive substance and next is disruption of endometrium the site from where the endometrium is become so that is disrupt it means become loose and next one is formation of finger like means rubber cells from where the endometrium breaks down the rubber cells form finger like projections and they goes deeper and deeper come closer to the fibroblast cell which contain glycogen so that they can gain nutritive substance these finger like projections are called pori and villi and last one is in human being or apes interstitial type of implantation can take place what do you mean by interstitial type of implantation the endometrium which cover all the blastula inside it this one like right? the site from where the endometrium breaks down they cover the fully blastula inside the endometrium this is called interstitial implantation in next part we will discuss after the implantation gastrulation how the germ layer which germ layer protect what or what do we mean by germ layer ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm that formation of germ layer in next part we will discuss about the gastrulation